um, the members have been detained by votes on the House floor, which just concluded moments ago. So we apologize for keeping you all waiting. It was uh, unavoidable, unfortunately. So on March 6th, the subcommittee examined the state of the maritime industry. In that hearing, the maritime administrator and industry representatives repeated a common message. When it comes to growing the American maritime industry, cargo is king. Now, if you've driven on uh, I-95 recently, you know full well that there's an excess of cargo and therefore traffic on our roads. By 2045, truck freight volume is expected to grow by 43%, which, without major infrastructure improvements, will further clog our roads and highways. This increased traffic would be significantly alleviated if we shifted cargo to our waterways through short sea shipping. Short sea shipping is the waterborne transportation of commercial freight between domestic ports through inland and coastal waterways. While our friends in Europe have placed short sea shipping at the center of their transportation policies, moving over 40% of all European freight on oceans and inland rivers, we have failed to leverage our existing programs to provide additional support for our domestic shipping industry. An invigorated short sea shipping industry would not only increase the state of good repair of the US roads and bridges by reducing maintenance costs from wear and tear and improve air quality and admissions, but it would also help to address the critical shortage in our merchant mariner workforce. Administrator Busby and other government officials have repeatedly stated that we have 1,800 fewer mariners than what is needed to address America's sea lift needs. That gap would quickly begin to close if we fully utilized America's marine highway and began shipping cargo on coastwise ships. In order to rigorously promote short sea shipping, we must develop a national multimodal transportation and infrastructure plan that prominently features maritime transportation. The Maritime Administration claims to be working to maintain the health of the merchant marine. Yet in the five years since Congress tasked MARAD with the development of a comprehensive maritime strategy, we have seen little movement to create a comprehensive plan to promote short sea shipping. So I look forward to hearing from Admiral Busby on the status of that strategy, particularly as it pertains to short sea shipping. I also look forward to hearing from our civilian panel on the benefits of short sea shipping, the status of projects that currently exist, and what Congress and the administration can be doing to advance the use of marine highways. Now I'd like to call on the ranking member, uh, Mr. Gibbs, for his opening remarks.